हेलो एंड नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन विद लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द ड्यूअलिटी इन लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग नाउ द टर्म ड्यूअल इन जनरल इम्प्लाइज टू और डबल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ड्यूअलिटी इज वेरी यूजफुल इन मैथमेटिक्स फिजिक्स स्टैटिस्टिक्स इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजरियल डिसीजन मेकिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन टू पर्सन गेम थेरी वन कंपिटेटर problem is the dual of opponent's problem in linear programming duality implies that each linear programming problem can be analyzed in two different ways but would have equivalent solutions any linear programming problem either maximization or minimization can be stated in another equivalent form based on the same data The new LP problem is called the dual linear programming problem or in short dual. In general it is immaterial which of the two problems is called primal or dual since the dual of the dual is primal. Now we will be starting with this particular session and will be having the detailed discussion on the duality. Uh under this we will be considering a small problem consider a problem of production planning. if you'll consider the pro problem of production production planning the production manager attempts to determine quantities for each product to be produced with an objective to optimize the use of available resources optimize available resources so that profit is maximum now but through a dual lpp approach he may develop a production plan that optimizes resources utilization so that marginal opportunity cost of each unit of resource is equal to its marginal return also called the shadow price this is a very important concept it's known as a shadow price uh, in the concept of duality or dual the shadow price indicates an additional price to be paid to obtain one additional unit of the resources in order to maximize profit under the resource constraints if a resource is not completely used there is slack then its marginal return is zero the shadow price is also called or defined as the rate of so we are defining it from here the rate of change in the optimal objective function value with respect to the unit change in the availability of a resource to be more precise for the constraint shadow price is nothing but change in optimal objective function value divided by the unit change in the availability of the resource so this is the definition of a shadow price very very important concept to note down why are we need dual of a given problem then moving ahead the interpretation of rate of change increase or decrease in the value of objective function depends on whether lpp is of max or min type the shadow price for less than or equal to type constraint will always be positive so shadow price for less than equals to constraint will be always positive this is because increasing the right hand side resource value cannot decrease the value of the objective function similarly the shadow price for greater than or equals to constraint will be always negative because increasing the right hand side resonance value cannot increase the value of the objective function this is this this particular slides i have kept it purposely so that you will understand what exactly the shadow pile price what exactly the dual of this there is no need to solve both lpp separately solving the lpp is equivalent to solving the other simultaneously thus if optimal solution a to one is known the optimal solution for the other can also be read from cj minus zj rows so we'll be having a detailed discussion whenever we are going ahead and finding out the the lpp or a solution using the duality in some cases considerable computing time can be reduced by solving the dual of lpp so it might happen that more number of constraints or more number of variables can be reduced using the lpp now formulation of dual lpp the summary of the general relationship between the primal and dual is will be given to first of all so i'll be reading both of them summarily to explain you everything 
now in the primal if we have got a maximization as the optimal uh, objective function so dual will change to minimization jth primal variable xj is nothing but this particular variable xj variable will be jth dual constraint so this is jth primal variable would be the part of the jth dual constraint ith primal constraint would be the ith dual variable yi primal variable xj unrestricted in sign dual constraint j is equality type primal constraint i is equality type dual variable i yi is un unrestricted in sign primal constraint is less than equals to type then dual constraint is greater than equals to type so i I'll, i'll be explaining everything in detail along with the ans along with the question based on this but yes this particular session i have dedicated to just for this having a gist of the what exactly the dual is again if you observe this is the different tables i have given you just to have uh, this in your um, uh, um, the notes and a short form of all these uh, notes to be noted then again primal dual relationship between this pair of lpp that's primal and dual if you observe here it's of max it's of minimization so previous table i have given you in the type of text wherein this is in terms of a mathematical notations so maximization zx summation of cj xj j is moving from 1 to n wherein this minimization dual would be minimization zy summation i is equals to 1 to m bi yi now what this bi from this dual they they are they are the numbers or they are the coefficients coming from the coefficients of the constraints or you can say the rhs of constraints from the primal similarly if you observe this prime this the the cjs from the primal that is objective function coefficient of objective function would go as the rhs of the dual as a part of rhs now as we have already discussed maximization all the constraints have to be less than or equals to in the minimization we should have all the constraints uh, they are of greater than or equals to those many number of variables involved in the primal will be same as the number of constraints in the dual so if you will observe here these are the number of variables we have in this primal and if you will observe here the the number of number of constraints in the in the primal they are coming out to be as a variable in the dual and this number of variables are coming to be number of the constraints over here in the dual similarly all of them that uh, yeah this is one of the thing you need to note it down that is aij is this is nothing but aji that means they are the um, they are the this constraints coefficients they are the conjugates of each other for this primal and dual again as i have told you we'll be having a detailed discussion slowly and exploring all of them everything about the duality or dual from the lpp i hope you have understood this much of this introduction i'm i'm trying to keep the sessions a little small so that you will be getting much more from the small packet of the videos thank you so much happy learning